n substitute is a friendly mocking framework for .NET. It is something which I stumbled upon and started using on some of my projects and I found it to be very useful. This is the NuGet package for n substitute and apart from this NuGet package I'm using nUnit as the main testing framework and apart from that we have to add the nUnit test adapter and microsoft.net.test.sdk to make it work with the Visual Studio and I added these four NuGet packages as a part of my test project. Now today my goal is to do unit test for this order processor and mainly the process method. So in order processor I have taken four different interfaces. Order validator, inventory provider, order creator and notification sender. Now, none of these interfaces have any implementation. Right now, they're just plain interfaces. There is no class which you're implementing it. And apart from the interfaces, I have an order object, which is for representing the order itself. Now, the process method of the order processor, first, it is checking if a order is equal to null. If it is null, then it is throwing an argument exception. Then it is doing the validation of the order using the order validator. Order validator returns a true or false based on it is valid or invalid. So if the order is not valid, it is throwing an exception as invalid order. And then we are checking the inventory provider to check if the order item is available in the inventory or not. If it is not available, then also we are throwing an exception saying it's missing in inventory. And after that, we are calling the order creator to create the specific order. If the order creation is unsuccessful, then we are just returning false. And finally, if the order is also created, then we are sending a notification to the user of the order and then finally we are returning true as a part of the process method to indicate the process is complete. Now you can see that validate is available and create order are boolean method where the send notification is void. So now for using n substitute for mocking what we are doing is first let's start with the simple test case which is order processor taking everything as null, passing null as the order, in which case we're just going to get a argument exception and that's what we're doing. Now here we are not using n substitute, we're using plain old n unit just to catch the argument exception. Then for the next method we are checking if the order processor invalid order. So the order passed is an invalid order. Now for that what we are doing is we are creating a validator or the i validator object here and for that we are using n substitute. So the syntax for that is substitute dot for and we pass the interface and that creates a substitute object and then we can call the method validate this is where we are doing the mocking. So we are calling the validate. And then we are saying that arg dot any and arg is also from n substitute. So here we are saying any order object passed as an argument dot return false. So always return false for the validate method. And then we are creating an inventory provider. Again, we are doing substitute dot for i inventory provider. And here we are just saying is available any order written false. Though this step will not be when executed, if you remember, if validate is unsuccessful, we're just throwing an error in this line. But I'm using this one for showing another feature of n substitute, which I'll come. And then we call processor equal to order processor and pass the validator, inventory provider, and null for rest of the two parameters. 
then we call assert.kh exception processor.process and here we are passing a default order object. Now process will fail again because at this line the validator will return false hence it will return an exception and it's going to be successful. And then we are calling validator.received. Received is also an extension method of n substitute and the received is basically used for telling whether a call in this case validate is being called through the process or not. So here we are saying validator.received a call to validate with any order. Now here instead of any we can give a specific object or specific integer if it was an integer input but we are saying any call is received. And then I'm using the inventory provider and calling did not received is available for any argument. So here I'm trying to prove that inventory provider was never called to the method is available. And this should work as expected. Now for received, we have two overload. One is received with empty and the second overload is received with a number. So we can decide, for example, if validate was called multiple times, we can provide that number here to validate. And then after that, we are just doing the same thing. Uh, but here we are making validator to return true, but inventory to false. So here it will still catch an exception. And then here we are having validator inventory provider and we're creating the order creator also, a substitute for that. And the create order is returning false in this case in which all the validator inventory provider and order creator will be called but the return will be false at this point in time because process returns false, if you remember. Process is going to return false if the order creation is failed. So that is what we are checking, is false. And finally, we are doing order.success where the order validator is returning true, inventory provider is returning true, order creator is returning true, and for order creator, this time, for create order, we just said default. So we're just passing default. Instead of doing arg dot any of order, we're just saying default value. And here, what we have done is instead of using returns, we're using returns for any argument as true, which means it does not matter what order creator gets, we are going to return uh, true. This is another way of using, instead of using arg dot any, we can use returns for any args that will also work. And then finally, we created the substitute for email sender. We are passing all of them. And this time when we call process with a default object, it is going to return true. And then we are ensuring that the, all the objects that we created, they have received call to their individual method. And now if I run, we'll see all the tests are going to pass as expected. And here we can see all the five tests are passing. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind. One thing is, which I have not covered here, if we want to, we can create substitute for multiple interfaces at the same time. So we can do I validator and then I, let's say I disposable. So we can create these two interfaces substitute at the same time. So that's another feature that we can use. But practically, you might not have to use it anytime because we usually use a single interface at a time for classes in most cases, except the situation like I disposable. The second thing which also I have not covered is you can also substitute for a delegate. For example, if you are using a function of string, so you can create something like well, function is equal to 
substitute dot function of order or function of stream and then basically you can mock this so you can say here if you want to verify if this particular function returns something so you can say returns and because it's a string so you can say test test and then you can say assert dot r equal test this is just an example but this is what you can use and now if i go and run i should see all the tests passing again and you can see it passed so that's another feature which you can use especially given that we use a lot of delegate and it will come very handy to test delegate and mocking the delegate so that is all i wanted to cover for today's video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you are new to this channel and if you think you are getting value out of this channel please subscribe to the channel and thanks so much for watching this video